talking to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. This as more than 80% of DC gas stations have no fuel. I mean, nothing. Gas Buddy tells us that number is 45% in Virginia and 39% in Maryland. Mike Valerio joins us live from a BP on Capitol Hill. And Mike, is it one of the stations that has some gas or no? Okay, well, Leslie, it was one of the stations two hours ago that had gas. In fact, we chose this spot here at 9th and Pennsylvania Southeast by the Library of Congress because this was one of five gas stations in D.C. that was having no problems. Again, two hours ago, so much has changed in the past two hours. This place completely out of fuel, caution tape roping off every single pump. Secretary Buttigieg did tell us earlier today that all of these problems should, in the administration's view, end by early next week. We're urging uh, common sense and measured response, especially knowing that the pipeline is flowing again. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg during our one on one interview as DC continues to face the biggest brunt of gas stations running dry. 88% of our gas stations here in the nation's capital, as we speak, are without fuel. What's your visceral reaction to that? Well, uh, as somebody who lives in the DC area, I'm obviously very concerned as well. If there is concern that leads to what's called panic buying or hoarding, that can actually be a self-fulfilling prophecy. As for what could stop this from happening again, Secretary Buttigieg pointed to an executive order signed Wednesday updating security standards on government networks. But CBS News confirms Colonial Pipeline did not follow the advice of the government and specifically the FBI. Instead, it paid hackers a multi-million dollar ransom only hours after the attack. It seems, though, that the pipeline is back online because of this $5 million ransom paid. From your point of view, was that worth it? So I can't speak to the uh, cybersecurity incident in terms of uh, the choices that the company made. What I will say is that these impossible choices that arise with a ransomware attack, where if you're uh, paying the ransom, it's contributing to the demand. If you don't, you could have a, a real destruction. Uh, those point to why the, the best way to deal with this is, of course, to prevent it from happening in the first place. Oh, so Leslie, the good news here is that there are fewer and fewer gas stations that are running out of fuel. Those numbers confirmed by Gas Buddy just a couple minutes ago. Leslie. Yeah, calm down. No panic. It's going to be better yeah. soon. Mike, thanks for the reminder. So when